Hi guys, we're going to be starting an artist research project. It's based on the artist that you chose or got chosen for you during the pre-research like research thing that we did in class. So this is what you're going to be looking at for the most part. This is what I'm going to be sending you guys just based on what I need for the artist research project. So there's the list of artists that you guys chose. Just in case you forgot which artist you have, you can click on this link right here. And we're going to do individual artists this time. So we're going to first create a website a google site so this is my drive this is a lot going on here but this is my drive and you're going to go up to the upper left hand corner of your drive and push new down here there's a lot of different things like creating a folder google docs um, but you're going to go down to more and you're going to come over to where it says google sites and you're going to click on google sites and you're going to make one based on the artist that you have so Here's all the setup for your Google Sites. There's a couple of things on the right-hand corner you might want to look at. Um, there's text boxes you can eh, um, add, embedding websites, um, getting things from your drive, which you'll definitely use, images that you can put in, laying out the bottom of it. So adding things to your website will definitely be um, key to this. Pages, we're going to actually have three pages. So I'm going to go ahead and name my site, and I am going to go and name this Alphonse Muka, who is the artist I'm gonna do as an example. And then if you click on it, it'll name your website after the artist. If you click on it again, you can add your name, just so I know who is doing the project, otherwise I have no clue. So there you go. And it'll still say Alphonse Muka, but you'll have your name up there too, okay? so. What you're going to add also to your page, you need a home page, but you also need an about page. This will be all the, the resume you're going to do about your artist will be featured here. So while that's getting that done, I'm also going to have a gallery and I'll show you how to be able to make a gallery in Google Arts and Culture pages. So you're going to link your um, Google Arts and Culture pages to your gallery here. Also, there's going to be resources you're going to use any resource that you guys use. And there needs to be at least three are going to be linked here. Okay, so you just need home, an about page, gallery, and resource page. Okay, so you can also pick out themes here. You can have different themes if you want to. You're going to be able to add things in the background anyway. It's just just something to be able to get going and started. But I'm going to use the first one here just because it'll help. So I'm going to come to the home page in the front. I know I want to link my three web pages in the front, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this one just because I want to. You don't have to, but it does help. You can use this one three times. You can do like this one if you want to. It's up to you. So I'm going to add a picture here. This is going to be my about section. And I'm just going to show you an example of linking it up to your home page and say I want an image. Since my about page is about Alphonse Muka, I'm going to put an image of him in there. And then I'm going to highlight it and it'll say insert link right here. And you can add a link to it, but also it'll let you link to the site pages. I'm going to link to the about page and always remember to push apply because otherwise it won't do it. So now for my home page, I have my about page and I have it linked to my about page. So something representing my page and the link. I also want you guys to be able to put like a quote here. I'm just going to put quote. Something to represent the artist, and you can change your images behind here. Upload an image. This is Muka's artwork. I can do that here. I can also change the header type. I have a banner up here. Um, I would do something interesting, make it interesting to you. So this um, is going to be a full page. And then you can add more. You can change, like, if I want you guys to kind of mess with this a little bit so you can make it emphasized more or a different color or like create an image in the background like eh. I wouldn't do too much because it just becomes busy after a while you can see that's very busy but I can pick like something else uh, if I want to eh. like just something that represents the artist you don't have to you could do some of their artwork as long as it's not too busy. You don't want to like crowd up the space. So there is an, a thought process about it. About page, of course, I'm going to change the image. I'm just using the same image twice. You can put a different image of the artist or change the header type. 
forgot that to cover already. And then for my about page, I know I'm going to link my artist resume. So I'm going to go into my Google Drive, go to my where I have all my stuff for my research project, and I have already my resume for my artist done. So I'm going to insert that here. You're going to work on this separately from your web page. So whenever I'm talking about getting your art resume done, you're going to have like this template to do. If I click on it, it'll bring up my an artist template for me. Please make sure that whenever you open this, you are making a copy first. So file, make a copy, copy. That way you can start editing because otherwise it's just going to show you this and you're not going to be able to edit this. I'm sending it to you guys just to be able to view it. But if you make a copy of it, you'll be able to edit it. So you're going to put the artist's name, three famous pieces of artwork, some stuff about their childhood, their artistic career, their death, where did they live, their lifespan, the medium that they used, and four interesting facts that you found about them. So. That's the artist's resume you're going to do at the same time. That's linked here, like I said. Um, my teacher example for my Google page, I'm going to show you that real quick. This is one I've already made for my Google page. So you'll be able to look at mine. And gallery, whenever you get to the gallery portion of this, you've already done the about page, has the resume in it. like So I can look at it. And then the gallery page is going to be a link to your Google Arts and Culture Gallery. So I'm going to click on that and you can see my MUCA Gallery page. So you want to go on Google Arts and Culture, Google Arts and Culture, Google.com, and you are going to search for your artist. So say, here, it's easier if I just push this thing. It's going to give you some things like you go for the MoMA or things like that. Alphonse Muga doesn't have too much on the Google Arts and Culture page is another reason why I didn't put him down here. So he has some works of art, and if you like some things, you can favorite them like I did right here. It also gives you some more information about the artist and the art that you're looking at. But once you get like favorites and things like that, it's like I unfavorite it, and then I'm going to favorite it, and it added to your favorites profile, I can view. I mean, this is just easier right now. I'm going to view my profile is up here and then you can see all my items and then my galleries I did a little, a little short one on Vincent van Gogh it's a long bell and then I did one on Muka okay you can click the ones you have and you can link them copy your link and then whenever you come to your website you can embed a link to your page in there okay so you can either in insert it but you can make something interesting like I did this one where I can put an image right here and then I can add a title like I'm just adding gallery but you guys can do ooh, well I'll leave it you can do something interesting link it and then it'll bring you to your Google Arts and Culture page okay so that's just an example so whenever you're ready to share it with me the second day you need to share it with others but you would need to publish it first so this will give you something about um you need to make a web address you could probably just name it you or name it your artist and then push publish right here after you publish it though you need to share it with others so you're sharing it with me this is me i made the website but you can also like push in my name go right here and then you share it with me and you'll send okay Make sure to send it to me because I need to grade it. And that's the only way I can grade it. I will probably like hunt you down if you do not have it. Okay. So that's basic research project there. Make sure you're sending it to me just in case you need my web address. This is all the things you need in all of your different parts of your web page. And then what I'm exactly going to be grading you on. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's it, guys. Have fun.